So we're going to where now? I hate kilo shops. It's really good. Like it's so beautiful. So it's a beautiful Saturday. I'm with Umut and Elisa. We're going to Partizan Cafe because it's my favorite coffee spot and it's two minutes away from my apartment. They both haven't been there yet. Umut is here from Istanbul. And Elisa lives here now too, my friend from Dusseldorf. And we want to have a good Saturday checking out some stores. I want to show uh, Umut some more stores like the Broken Arm where I got my Prada shorts and stuff from. It's something you have seen in my recent video. And also the store, the next store, I can really recommend. It's amazing. So we're here for the more smaller boutiques. And he's in the search for Kawa boots. So at the end of the day, my most stylish friend, Umut, who is a stylist, got affected by the poisonous Y2K trend, which is cowboy boots, but it's absolutely fine. I'm gonna find him a good pair. Maybe, I don't know, the one from Ghani. I don't know what you think about them. He likes them. I think they're pretty playful, even though it is a brand that I not crazily adore, but it might be funny. So now we're gonna get a coffee with my girls in the back. And a little lemon cake, because that lemon cake is amazing. And it's in the second here, it's called uh, Café Partisan. Nice interior, probably no place to sit, but it's fine because it's sunny. So we just had our coffee at Partizan. Unfortunately, I could not get myself my lemon cake because they just had matcha and uh, gingerbread or something. Despite popular trend, I'm not a huge matcha fan. Now I'm heading with my gang. Uh, I think I want to show them the store, as I said, I think Broken Arm. Uh, they are one of the rare stores where you can also have a look at the recent uh, spring Prada collection and I know I repeat myself but that is one that I'm the most curious about so we're gonna have a look at this and I'm gonna let them touch the Prada pieces but they also have Wales Bona Nicolas Pescoletti which I absolutely love uh, I also saw his show so it's it's I wouldn't say it's avant-garde but it's definitely like inspired from like a very avant-garde vision and it has some medieval vibes also uh, very different kind of brand. I just can recommend you to have a look at that one. So, no, it's a pretty small store, but I love the selection that they have. And that's what I love the most, like small, curated, selected pieces. Like don't come at me with masses. That's why I'm not a huge fan of like big department stores as well. Except for Printemps, because they also have smaller labels sometimes. In the Broken Arm, there is a little coffee place as well. Super cute. The cutest thing ever, because they're like in a little box in the corner where they also sell like uh, books of architecture, fashion, different kind of things, gadgets for creative people who do sketches or something. And you can sit outside and drink your coffee, which is also beautiful. Umut, say hi. Hi. Elisa, say hi. And yes. Oh, I love it here. I know I end up every weekend in Marais. Yes, to the right, but it's just a beautiful district. Here you see some people checking the um, performance of Shoto's photos. Shoto's photos. Is this a new word for photo x Shoto? I don't know. I think she's happy. 
Yeah, but there will be a second nice. round, I think. Exactly. That's what I sense I, I, right I now. This. Uh -huh. See some uh, critique. Kind of this is cool. Yes. Back in Marie, we didn't come far. We checked Uniqlo. It's so crowded. It's crazy crowded in Marie. I must have forgotten that it's Saturday and you can really not very easily make one step in front of the other. I'm looking for good homeware still, desperately. If you know any brand, please recommend me. I don't know which brand. Uh, I can choose, to be honest, and I'm going to Uniqlo every time, and honestly, they don't change this selection, so it's just a desperate habit of mine. And there is a Converse release or something, it's, I don't know, it's called like um, Converse New Wave or something. I, I'd really like to understand people who are for these sneaker drops. I did not know Converse was still relevant. Update me on this as well, please, if you are aware of sneaker culture. And now, as I said, Umut wants to get himself some cowboy boots. I'm going to the direction of BHV, if you know it, like uh, when you go from Marais in the direction of like Centre Pompidou. There are like some thrift shops, uh, different ones that have a bigger selection. Um, and I will try to find there like a good substitute to the Gunny ones. I hate kilo shops. I hate kilo shops. We are at Café de la Poste, which is a pretty nice small place with good food. It's in Marais as well, so we can only recommend it. It's around 7 p.m., so we're doing like our second rest stop. Before that, we were at Café Charlotte, have had a hamburger and stuff. It's a bit touristy, so it's nice. You have the sun coming if you're there like in the afternoon. I don't know if I really have to go there again, but it's a famous and it's a nice place. Like if you don't know where to go at all, you can go there definitely. And um, <clears throat> here are some vintage stores called Nuovo on Rue de Touraine. Also beautiful street, for me like a bit neglected. There's also a really nice big um, bookstore with a lot of art books, mainly art books I would say, where we also want to go. And then there is this bookstore called OFR Paris. Um, you can also look at their Instagram where you find tons of magazines so it's open like 50 more minutes and that's, that's the next spot we want to go to. We just needed a little energy break so we got ourselves some red wine and Aperol and then we will have a look at some books. been to Monoprix with um, Umut because he wanted to buy some good snacks. Uh, he will go back to Istanbul tomorrow. So we bought some sweets and some sour stuff. He also wanted to take some pasta with him. <laughs> this is that it's ridiculously cheap in Europe, the European brands. Uh, but in the last second I could convince him of not carrying pasta with him back to Turkey because it doesn't make sense and he just has hand luggage and he bought two pairs of tubbies here so he needs to carry them somehow and yeah now we're heading home we will eat some sweets because we both like to eat sweets before having papa dinner and even though we had a cheeseburger at Cafe Charlo we will probably eat an Ufa durum like a Turkish Kurdish style durum 
It's in the second and it's one of the best Durum places, Google where the Durum is, it's amazing. Um, either this or we will have a kebab at Surprise. Surprise is the absolutely best kebab place in this town and it's also like inspired by the Berlin style kebab, which you can also not find in um, Turkey, by the way. So this is really an invention that Turkish immigrants that moved to Germany created. And yeah, it's, and it's like a German Turkish uh, innovation, I would say, of how to prepare a kebab. So he loves it. And even though he's coming from Turkey, I think it's pretty funny. He wants to eat kebab here. Um, so we're gonna go there or to the other dream place. Let's see. Now we're heading home. So I managed to get the crowd out. Not me, but everybody is still hungry apparently. So we're going to the very famous kebab place, which is like footsteps away from me uh, on this arc thing in the Saint Denis. I'm not that hungry, but I think I need to eat because otherwise um, I will get hungry in the evening and then I will, will eat sweets, but most certainly I will eat sweets anyway. So we just waited in line like 20-25 minutes in line for this kebab, which is apparently more popular than I expected. I am here so often, but I have never seen it so full. Uh, and my friends are freezing like hell. But we made it almost inside, you see. Oh, it is here is the door, so I will be almost in. I hope there is a place to sit, otherwise I think we will just grab it and get home. Uh, because of the footsteps away. But it's of course nice to eat it here. They have like also like in the background some techno music playing, the arts, like the interior, everything is amazing. It reminds me crazy of Berlin and Germany in general. Uh, and, uh, I just love the fact that they are playing um, techno. <laughs> it's really good. So we're back again and right now we are assembling Umut's suitcase and I would not call myself a pro but I have a bit of a clue when it comes to that. And it's so sad, he bought like two pairs of Marjala tabbies, one for himself. This is the one he got for his friend, beautiful. They're just, we just realized like black is always like just so beautiful, plain, amazing. I'm also thinking of maybe getting these. I'm not sure I have the loafers and I have to admit I have worn them once and I own them since two years and I love it. Like see the difference here and he says like they're getting pretty wide here. Like just if in case if you're thinking of getting the tubbies, it's just um, also the right foot is the one that is getting abused by everybody on parties. That means like with the wine glass, the cigarettes, the fingers. You will get abused if you wear these and are a socially active person. And this is how they look like at the beginning. And I don't want to use the comparison everybody's using here, but it gets wider by time. Anyway, uh, it's super funny. And yeah, he bought these. And these ones he got for himself. I'm dying. Like, it's so beautiful. It's the right level of techno and 70s and fun and still like I don't know why but I would still call this an everyday boots like it's he's wearing it like with jeans a plain white sh shirt and like this and I feel like the reflection is a bit like the one on my Prada's where you see, like it's not as disturbing as like plain blank glitter stuff you know it's like it's cracked it's like a cracked mirror and it's cracking over time i mean it's something that is definitely uh, uh done on purpose here with this design but i just love it and i think it's beautiful that the item is aging visibly by time uh despite like the usual usages so yeah he got himself this one i think is, this is a slightly more expensive than the basic ones but we have a little tabby family here it's it's a trio it's cute so we are continuing to pack. <laughs> <laughs> 